Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, what's up, Sag? Baby, did you miss me? What's popping? Because huh? huh? I miss your motherfucking ass. Listen, honey, y'all know y'all know y'all. Y'all better know I love y'all. Y'all got me working on the only motherfucking off day I haven't had in the last two weeks because I love y'all. You know, and, I, and I'm going to need y'all to understand it. Because Sagittarius, why I love y'all is because y'all know how to put some motherfucking respect on it, okay? Y'all understand us fire signs. We going to do it. We gonna, we, we definitely going to do it, but maybe we going to do it when I get there. You hear what I'm saying? Listen, don't expect for me to be on time. Don't expect for me. I ain't one of them, Sag, okay? But y'all be understanding. So thank you for your love. Thank you for your support, you guys. Thank you for just really loving on me the same way I love on y'all. That reciprocal-ass motherfucking energy thank you baby thank you babe okay thank you sag hey well, hey if this first time to my channel i'm mocha also this first time to my channel look out i cuss may cuss a little may cuss a lot just depend on what the hell this lick read but oh i'm a cuss okay this is my shit thank you for the likes the shares the subscribes the comments the love the donations the reading requests etc etc you guys i'm going to extend this list out i gotta say it because i'm gonna forget okay i'm going to extend this damn list out if you want a personal reading that information can eventually be found in the fucking description box okay but for those of y'all who know who know little old me and how i give it up okay just know um it's gonna get there all right but uh if you've been with me for a while if you got personal readings from me in the past because i have talked to a lot of sagittarius so <laughs> if you've been with me quite some time y'all better take advantage of the fact that i'm doing the old prices because y'all know my prices went up um i believe last year I'm doing the old prices only until I'm going to say the end of Gemini season because I love them too, okay? Yeah, I just heard somebody say, I'm not going to even repeat what I heard somebody say telepathically. Be nice, okay? Y'all know the, we don't want no Geminis coming to y'all motherfucking read Sag and getting a little de la ratchet because you know they ass gets a little, a, a, a ski taste of ratchet, okay? So you know, let's just be nice. Let's play nice in the motherfucking sandbox, Sag. Okay, some of y'all may be having to play nice in the motherfucking sandbox in order to attain some type of goal or get something that it is that you're needing right now. Okay, I'm literally hearing the person who you least expected. Okay, so some of y'all, the person who you least expected is about to play a big part when it comes to your ascension, when it comes to your elevation. I'm hearing it's not what you know, but who you know, Sag. All right, so without further ado, um, oh, you're new to the family, y'all know that ADHD is real. Okay, if you're new to the family, hey, y'all, we're really dysfunctional. Okay, we don't fight and fuss though, we leave that shit on other people channel okay but we do cuss we cuss big baby we cuss baby baby okay we love we grow we share we enlighten we evolve positive vibes only positive type teams okay so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into sash because this damn intro was long as fuck okay y'all know i'll be super excited every time i talk to y'all and i just i'm just happy to connect i was gonna go live with y'all but i refuse to go live with y'all for right now okay until i get gemini's birthday live up okay and once i run through everybody because my plan is in the next three days to be done with everybody so i can start back over with damn gemini so i can go live for gemini so i can go live with everybody else it's their birthday we ain't gonna we ain't, we ain't gonna do them like that because of my babies we can't okay so i'm holding it together trying not to fucking go live with sag and aquarius and aries first because i'm we gonna have to upload it okay just this one time all right so let's just jump into it sagittarius immediately i kept getting something about you need to speak a lot of focus around the throat chakra i don't know if someone was trying to shut you up okay maybe some i'm hearing some of y'all sagittarius y'all motherfucking hands ain't clean baby y'all try to shut somebody the fuck up someone is afraid of being um ashamed or someone is um i'm hearing someone's internally ashamed of their actions or how they did you for some of you all someone could have left somebody when they were pregnant okay for some of you all someone also there's a lot of focus around the child this could be the reunion or this could be a reunion with the child okay maybe you could be the fucking child some of you guys are discovering something having to do with secrets around family at this time especially when it comes to the father figure okay or a father some of y'all said mean you could be the father okay but i get this energy where someone wants to clear the air and this is really being divinely orchestrated in order to take you out of one cycle into another so some y'all may be seeing a lot of 10 tens, okay some y'all could also have heavy scorpio placements because i'm literally hearing i transform okay so i'm also hearing transmutation so for some of you all also quantum entanglements or i'm possibly studying um studying psychological something about psychological studies okay so i'm hearing quantum healing quantum entanglements or actually like teaching people about 
te teaching people psychologically about the part of their brain in which they can align with in order to like either heal trauma, do some type of shadow work or move any type of like blocks when it comes to manifestations. Law of attraction could also be of significance. Okay. I keep getting quantum jumping, quantum leaping, quantum entangle, quantum entanglement, quantum healing. I'm also hearing past life regression. So maybe some of you guys could be looking for some type of like healing session, Reiki specialist, or maybe you're being called to your motherfucking purpose to come sit on your motherfucking throne and your seat sag and pop your shit okay no one's standing in your way for some of y'all but you okay because you got all of these big plans you're rich in ideas you rich in motherfucking creativity but your ass ain't moving to fucking save your life ace nobody fault but you sag some of y'all the fucking hater that's black and i keep hearing who's your haters who's spying on you who's sending you the evil eye either some of y'all do pick a cards or some of y'all could be watching a lot of pick a cards i'm hearing put the pieces together so for some of you all but i'm also hearing please please be careful about okay please be careful about how you give how much energy that you give of yours to a reader, okay, or to readings, because I am getting this obsessive energy as it pertains to tarot readings, and that could actually be the reason why some of y'all ain't getting y'all fucking shit done, okay? And that's usually some shit that I'll be talking to a yin sign about, okay? That's some shit that I'll probably talk to about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a motherfucking Capricorn, Taurus, Virgus about, but it's... <laughs> Maybe some of y'all got them places, placements, okay? It's coming up in your chart. Also, for some of you all, I am hearing something having to do with jar spells. Maybe some of y'all are also tapping into, because I'm hearing astral intrusion. So maybe some of you guys are realizing that you're tapping into the subconscious of uh, the subconscious mind of someone who's become very obsessive with you. I'm hearing admiration. Okay, I'm hearing admiration breeds obsession. So for some of y'all, this could be, yeah, some of y'all got a fucking uh, deer stand ass person on your motherfucking hands. I am hearing something about a protective order as well, okay? Sagittarius, some of y'all may have to end up getting a protective order from someone who could be in a whole nother other fucking relationship, but this person cannot stay out of your business, stay from riding by your house, stay from riding by your motherfucking job. Someone wants you to be intimidated so fucking bad, but they're not even built like that, okay? So for Sag, for some of you all who been intimidated by somebody stalking you or kind of being very fucking like um very intrusive as it pertains to your energy honestly some of y'all been trying to keep it together be a fucking sag on this motherfucker be a sag on this motherfucker because for whoever this is they're not built like that and for some of you all if you actually caught this person and you confronted this person that would actually be the motherfucking key to getting them to leave you the fuck alone okay for some of y'all this could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius someone's trying to put the pieces together someone could also someone some of y'all got someone's ex okay this could be your present person or the new person that you're dealing with someone's ex is stalking you because this person is not responding the way that they would normally respond to their motherfucking an emotional manipulation so now sad you show fault <laughs> you ruined in their motherfucking family and shit that's been over seven years ago but listen for some of you all i'm hearing focus on your focus focus on your focus some of y'all are holding on to a lot of ancient wisdom okay some of you guys are also tapping in very heavily to your past life i'm literally hearing something having to do with star seeds or star races all right so some of y'all are definitely children of the stars some y'all has also some y'all have also um some of y'all also have been, I'm hearing something about tapping into your crystalline DNA. Some of y'all also celestial beings or cerebral cerebral beings could be of significance as it pertains to like your ancestors or connecting with your ancestors. Some of y'all may even be experiencing paranormal activity around your home. Understand this, whatever this is, it is not evil. As a matter of fact, whatever these damn, uh, whatever these celestial, whoever these celestial beings that you're encountering, these are actually people who actually protected you or I'll say your ancestors from a previous damn timeline that protects you even in this damn timeline as you're continuously ascending because for some of you all you're going to have a lot of esoteric or ethereal information really bestowed up onto you i got a lot of cosmic energy when i was tapping into sagittarius so cosmic energy uh cosmic awareness okay cosmic consciousness teaching this okay could definitely be of significance because some y'all are definitely being called to the role of a teacher all right i'm also hearing something having to do with um imaginative energy so some y'all could actually like make conscious music or maybe you kind of on the 
I'm hearing, I'm, okay, so I'm hearing mixing history with music. History with music. Some of y'all could also teach about various cosmic beings, okay? Some of y'all also could be going through some type of space where you're creating a platform, possibly to either teach astrology, or maybe some of y'all, I keep hearing um, e encryption, okay, decoding. So some of y'all could actually be decoding the Bible or decoding some type of religious text. This could even be some type of comedic science and actually like understanding uh, the symbolisms, okay, the hieroglyphs as well linguistics could be of significance maybe some of you all are dealing with someone from a different culture and maybe there's like a language barrier or maybe you're wanting to like teach someone english or someone is teaching you another language okay some of you all also i keep hearing mobile technician okay so some of y'all could actually be like a mobile nail tech or there's a need for you to really focus on your creativity and what it is that you're trying what it is that you're wanting to produce because for some of you all you've been manifesting at a fast rate the only thing that you're fucking needing is the action to go with go along with it and for some of you all is really acknowledging how you've been fucking limiting yourself and keeping yourself fucking small, okay? What I mean by that is small minds, outdated thinking, small, limited consciousness. What you, The sky is not the motherfucking limit, bitch. It's all kind of shit up there. <laughs> All kind of, that's not the limit. It's actually a motherfucking illusion. For some of you all, you can see you can actually tap into the fucking, um, you actually can tap into the energy or you can actually tap into what the fuck is beyond this motherfucking dome that's on top of us, all right? I'm also picking up on something having to do with prophetic dreams, okay? Or revelations coming through your dreams, especially in the realm of fucking family. Some of y'all is understanding why you've had a karmic relationship with your mother in a previous life. For some of y'all, especially for those of you who have this damn, because I'm picking up on something having to do with an Atlantean pre some y'all um incarnated again after living some type of life in Atlantis okay I'm also hearing Lumerian okay of course ancient Egypt but I'm hearing a lot of Lumerian all right something significant to Lyran star seeds as well some y'all could be dealing with the Leo okay I'm also hearing draconian star seeds, reptilian star seeds, okay? A reptilian, okay, reptilian race. For some of you all, you definitely could be having, so I'm hearing, the reason you, okay, some of y'all are understanding the reason why you continuously, like, you just don't mesh with whoever the fuck this is. Y'all always clash because y'all, it's kind of like y'all come from bloodlines that was like beefing back in ancient times. So it's kind of like it's always been an uproar between the damn bloodlines. But for some of you all, I'm literally hearing the birthing of a new race. So the, there's a Sagittarius that I'm connecting with that possibly could have gotten pregnant uh, due to some type of sneaky link. Okay, I just how I see it, bitch. All right, I see you, you, you little sneaky bitch, but you my bitch. I love you. All right, but I get this energy where some of y'all could have gotten, and I, and I don't want you to feel no type of way, babe, because I was not trying to judge you. I'm really trying to make light of the situation because for whoever this is, I'm really picking up on some type of like seasonal depression as it pertains to what you're gonna do because it goes all the way against your fucking beliefs when it comes to what you picture for your damn life around having fucking children. It does and it's, it's and there's a need to acknowledge that for whoever that's for but at the same time you're being chosen baby to birth a new race it's like for some of you all you're literally you've literally manifested a child from a higher dimension so this child is going to have this child is already going to embody a lot of cosmic consciousness which is actually the goddamn catalyst to why you're being interested in some of these taboo fucking subjects okay some of you guys documentaries could be of significance at this time i keep hearing something about a podcast or some type of platform being and significant y'all are literally being called to the forefront as it pertains to leadership all right also i kept getting something having to do with um sagittarius for some of you all you may have to change especially if you have a cat specifically okay i see a smoke gray cat somebody needs to take this cat to the vet this cat then ate something it has it very sick or something's going on with your cats like the lining of the cat's stomach I don't know if someone actually, okay, so I'm also hearing poison. Someone tried to poison your cat. Someone's aware that your cat is your familiar, okay? Also, for some of you all, some of y'all could be resonating a lot with some of the movies in which you've been led to. Some of y'all have been, some of y'all have been fucking movie binging, okay? But it's like you're being led to these movies because they're allowing, they're giving you the answers in which you've been praying for and with the guidance in which you've been praying for. Some of y'all, they're assisting you when it comes to your next step. Some of y'all are being called to move out of state, my baby, and that move looks beautiful when it comes to you being able to grow and elevate within your career. Also, I keep hearing something about credit restoration, so maybe some of y'all 
could be getting into like um maybe it's okay so i'm here in workshop maybe some of y'all teach about finances or financial freedom or assets maybe some of you guys also could be teaching about the housing market maybe you're taking some type of course or maybe you was kind of in two minds about um sitting through some type of program or signing up for a program this could even be a program that helps you pay your fucking rent but i definitely get the resources being available to you if you were going through some type of like mishap around rent okay or even when it comes to assistance when it comes to down payments as well that being significant i'm also hearing credit restoration program all right also some of y'all may need to seek a financial advisor because this is about being realistic with your damn self some y'all really got an issue with emotional fucking spending you get in your bag bitch and you'll give amazon all your fucking money and then you feel bad later you like damn bitch did i need them 16 candles <laughs> Did I really need 16 candles? Did I did I really need to buy the whole case? Okay? A fucking Florida water? Did I need to buy the whole case of dragon blood sticks? Some of y'all also, I keep hearing something about boxes, okay? So maybe some of you guys could be selling spiritual products or cleansing tools. Some of y'all also need to cleanse your fucking divination tools, your pendulums, your crystals, your cards. I keep hearing something about the holding of energy. Some of y'all could also be properly learning how to, if you do readings or you channel for the collective of any sorts, some of y'all really need to really work on mastering closing off your energetic aura or your energetic, like, your energetic cords even especially when it comes to like doing readings maybe some of you guys may be feeling very drained after doing like collective readings okay i'm hearing something about soaking purification also sagittarius some of y'all could be decalcifying your third eye i'm also hearing something about shrooms okay shrooms or some type of um hallucinogen to assist you with tapping into like your past life karma or dharma or understanding certain things as far as it pertains to like hurtling over something or a particular connection with someone who you have children with in this life okay also i'm getting something about new orleans being significant maybe some of y'all are trying to plan a trip to new orleans maybe you're dealing with someone that's from new orleans some of y'all is in two minds about if somebody i get this energy with well, some of y'all y'all questioning if someone's like if someone has been the one that's been attacking you or trying to slow you down, for some of you all, again, the person who you least expect, some of y'all is the motherfucker who you tell your problems to that has literally been fucking creating some type of blockages or barriers as it pertains to you moving forward. You're discovering this, okay, during this time. I'm also hearing some type of like <laughs> petty game of telephone. Some of y'all is trying to, some of y'all testing the waters. It's like you finna throw some damn bait out there to see how this individual takes the fucking bait. I don't even know what that's pertaining to, but it definitely feels as if it's pertaining to gossip because some of y'all got somebody very close to you telling your motherfucking business and this person really wants to affect the way people perceive you or people praise you someone's very threatened by your praise okay or sagittarius is your ass threatened by somebody's fucking praise i get this energy where some y'all are understanding why you're attracting men who feel the need to try to overpower um power something about powerful women someone feels someone feels the need to be inferior to you because this person has no vision i'm also hearing some of you guys are fucking pulling a plug when they try when it comes to trying to make something work with a motherfucker who does not love unconditionally they love from a space of survival and some of y'all is tired of being somebody's motherfucking mama and it's lining you right with the motherfucker who you supposed to be with sag so beautiful blessings arising okay six 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 may be of significance okay four 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 seven 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 alignment some of you guys i'm hearing right place right time right conversation collaborations at this time are very blessed okay especially in the realm of music or fashion and design i keep seeing something about an online clothing store okay maybe a t-shirt press maybe customized clothing all right I'm also hearing someone's pop-up shop is going to be successful, especially if you sell makeup, if you sell eyelashes, or if you sell any type of like metaphysical products, okay? This could be crystals, this could be crystal bracelets, this could be um, amulets, this could be talismans, okay? Some of y'all also, I keep seeing, I don't know who this is for, but you're being called to get like a big glass bowl and put some type of either I, I see black salt i also see himalayan salt as well i'm hearing either or uh, possibly with some florida water and either put it either either at the light 
you can put it at the front. Not, not, not I'm not going to say at your front door, but like when people walk into your home or whatever, for whoever you is, you come into your home and then you got like a bookcase right there and then they got to come around. So you can live in an apartment, but I literally see when you walk in the door for whoever this is for, you can literally see like a bookcase right there. Then it's the countertop that leads you into the kitchen, into the living room, but it's like a blind corner coming into your living room. You can put your bowl right there, like going into that fucking blind corner, okay? I'm also seeing, um, Sag, some of y'all got some shit on your ancestor altar. They don't really go together and shit. Like some of y'all got, um, some of y'all got beings up there that's like low key beefing. Okay. I feel like for some of you all also, I am hearing, uh, I'm hearing society initiation. Okay religious community okay or some type of spiritual community some of y'all could have them targeting you because they i'm hearing you know too much some of you guys you could have removed yourself from some type of group this could definitely be some type of a fucking secret society of some sort maybe some of y'all is actually exposing some type of secret society something about the freemasons i'm also hearing you ruin someone's plan to sacrifice you sag all right Oh, I don't want to tap into that because I ain't like it. <laughs> I ain't like it. I ain't like it. I ain't like it at all, Sag. All right. So let's jump into it. We're going to get a crystal message for you guys. I thought that I had my other deck because I really love that deck a lot more than these. But yeah, I ain't got it. So we got we to gotta make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> Listen, I keep hearing something about telepathy. Some of you guys are discovering that you have some type of telepathic connection with someone. I'm also hearing something having to do with ancient gifts, all right? So I'm hearing something about necromancy being significant. Necromancy, the necromancers. Some of y'all may be drawn to a lot of audio books at this time. Your ancestors are literally flooding you guys with information. I'm also hearing somebody's been thinking about making like... um making like homo homeopathic products i keep seeing something about spiritual baths teas as well all right some of y'all could also make some type of like homemade um some of y'all make some type of handmade products you really gonna boom in the month of fucking august okay but you're gonna see a lot of a lot of increases as we get into july you're gonna see some type of influx i'm also hearing alkalades some y'all people is giving y'all y'all flowers motherfucker y'all gives people giving y'all y'all motherfucking flowers sagittarius this is beautiful energy you're being praised for your knowledge, your work. If someone counted you out in the workplace, some of y'all also is being called to stand up for yourself or report a goddamn work bully, okay? Someone's threatened about how much you know. You make this person feel inferior to how much you know. Some of y'all go to work and you got a motherfucker trying to micromanage you and you got to tell this motherfucker how to do their job, okay? Some of y'all may need to report someone. Also, for some of you all, I'm hearing something about, <laughs> I heard your job is a time loop. Some of y'all feel stuck in a, in a particular position. It's because you you don't trust that you're going to be okay. I'm literally hearing if you leave this job, if you leave this motherfucking place of business, if you leave this organization, you will not fall. Your faith is being tested here, baby. You are the fucking change. You are the tower that you've been waiting for. You guys got garnet. Purification and detoxification, baby. Something about your environment. Maybe some of y'all is also li temporarily living with someone. Your spiritual beliefs and practices make this person feel uncomfortable. This could actually be the individual who wants to be who wants to seem more inferior than you i'm also hearing something about judgment somebody being judged because they don't take care of their kids now moving on all right garnet purification and detoxification it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life so some of y'all purification uh detoxification could definitely be of significance fasting i'm literally seeing something about a fruit fast okay i'm also hearing black seed oil could be of significance for some of y'all you could be trying to detoxify your body from that motherfucking mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah because they ain't finna get me they finna catch me slipping you hear me give me one more angel message you guys got amatrine what is amatrine? Citrine and amethyst mix. It took me fucking yes until yesterday to find that shit out. Amatrine. <laughs> Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allowing your feminine side to creatively oh wait, allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Okay. So for some of you all again, you see how this shit is coming into her. You see how these downloads, this information, this ethereal information is coming. She's being illuminated. Some of you guys is definitely in this place of illumination. Some of you all are whistleblowers. Hell, maybe you 
you being the one that's being called to be the illuminator. Shine your light, Sag. I don't give a fuck how much it makes people uncomfortable. Fuck them people and fuck how they feel. That's not your problem, okay? A lot of blue here. So again, really making sure that you're really like something about your throat chakra is significant. Someone does not want you to speak about certain topics, okay? Especially if it's having to do with this inflation, inflation or some type of like governmental propaganda, all right? But it's your purpose to shake shit up, all right? Some of you guys could really work in the field of advocacy, okay? I'm also hearing revolutionary, all right? But I'm, I get this energy, something about... Some of y'all is making some type of massive change in your community. I'm here and pay it for it. This one action that you take is actually going to allow other people in the community to not only recognize you, but it's also going to cause other people in the community to actually take accountability or responsibility to the unit to, to the to the part within the harmonious process that they play within creating that unity. Okay, collective consciousness, collective unity. I'm hearing Big Mama, okay? Some of you guys also could be teaching about these massive ass fucking, um, these massive ass fucking shifts that we're experiencing with all of these very important and very, I'll say very imperative ass fucking retrogrades. Right now, Pluto, I won't, Sag, I won't, because we always speak about Mercury, but I want you guys to look very heavily into the Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. It's significant for some of you all, because for some of you all, it has a lot to do with the, I'm hearing accountability, Sag, this is the season of accountability, okay? Accountability, and what I mean by accountability, for some of you all, you've sat back and waited for somebody to get their goddamn karma, somebody living their motherfucking life, and you still mad, or this is somebody towards you, but it's like taking accountability for the, for the part in which you play in allowing these things i'm hearing forgive others and forgive yourself but at the at the once you fucking do that you don't have no fucking no more no more further obligations to whatever the hell this is okay because for some of you all you allowing something to really take too much fucking control in your mind and on the cool that's not even your fucking energy sad y'all don't even really give a fuck that much and that's y'all superpower all right topaz forget bitch when i say i'm good i'm good this is the one that fell out Forgiveness heals, okay? Um, this is topaz, but for some of you all, I am hearing something about rose quartz, okay? Uh, incorporating more pink, all right? Also incorporating blue as well as red at this time will be very beneficial for you. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and your happiness. At the bottom, okay, value your self-worth, all right? So at the bottom, you guys got diamond, okay? So some of y'all just could be involving in Aries, okay? Maybe you have Aries placements, all right? But you are God's precious gem. Value your first. Also, um, some of y'all, someone could be trying to use, or some of y'all is dealing with a situation where someone's trying to use what they have, okay, in order to get what the fuck they want. Be very careful about reconciliation at this time, Sagittarius, because someone is hell-bent on having you, or some of y'all, Sag, I keep hearing, your hands ain't clean, especially if you have Virgo or Aquarius in your chart, all right? Your hands ain't motherfucking, oh, you dealing with a motherfucking Virgo and Aquarius, someone's hell-bent on putting you or getting you trapped, so even if you fucking, this could be fucking a sugar daddy, okay? Y'all could have manifested this person, all right? For those of you who was using Jezebel oils or Jezebel, the Jezebel spirit, in order to manifest some shit because yes i know y'all gonna be like oh that's not sagittarius that's them yeah this is some of y'all sagittarius not all y'all okay but for those of you who was using some type of jezebel fucking oil in that you when you know you know and you manifested big daddy from that all right big daddy is obsessed because big daddy don't like your big, big daddy don't like your and your independence okay so for whoever the fuck big daddy is in your motherfucking life all right whoever this individual is i get this energy where they're trying to they could even be involved. They could be offering to get you an apartment. They could be offering to do something, you know, nice for you, give you some money, buy you a car. But whatever the fuck this is, this person is trying to put you in a situation where eventually they have to be your motherfucking saving grace. And some of y'all, this is why you're on the fence about making this damn decision for whoever the hell that's for. I also see videography, mediography could be of significance. Okay, so maybe some of y'all could be wanting to make short films. Maybe some of you guys could be doing visuals for some type of project around like a uh, like like a like a song or audio or music all right of some sort or some of y'all also i'm literally hearing cam girl only fans okay i'm also hearing something about fetishes all right sash well listen let me get the fuck out y'all business big fetish ass energy all right i literally see somebody tied up okay so maybe someone has a damn bdsm uh bdsm fetish all right i'm also hearing some of y'all 
and I know who this is for, but I'm getting it actually as a collective with Sag. Some of y'all need to literally break a glass, okay? Like like a mason jar. Get that motherfucker right. All of your fucking information in it. Not your social, no shit like that. But every damn thing you and me, you you do what you do, okay? Because it won't it won't take away from it. But some of y'all need to write every damn thing about yourself, every fucking thing. And some of y'all need to take that damn glass, take it out in nature somewhere, break it. Now, when you do break it, make sure that the if you you driving in the car to do it, make sure that your car is facing away from wherever the fuck you break it at so that you can like really move forward and never fucking look back but for some of y'all some yeah you need to call back your power all right somebody has been either putting your ass in the freezer for a lot of y'all jars okay <laughs> you know you a bad bitch when you done made it to some fucking obsessed ass bitches motherfucking jar cabinet bitch <laughs> i love it Taz. i don't like it but you know bitches ain't stopping nothing give me uh give me three uh three cards for my sagittarius it's, in love you guys i'm using my boo she's an aries her name uh, her name is candelicious the goddess on ig okay but she makes these cards y'all and i love them all right candy coated truth so we're gonna jump into it i actually was gonna use the other cards for love but we're gonna pull we're gonna pull you know what i am i'm gonna use both of them because <laughs> it's a sag i love y'all shit i can't get too much of mocha i can't get too much of sag <laughs> okay spirit Angels, once I God, please come forth. Allow me to be the vessel of truth, love, understanding, clarity. The sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, cross watches, or whatever the hell they got Sag and they chart and this resonates. Let's get it. You guys got hide and seek, fun, innocence, playfulness, okay? Sag, some of y'all in love when it comes to love. Some of y'all ain't trying to be motherfucking tied down, all right? Or some of y'all ain't got time to play with no goddamn body. You out here trying to live your life, focus on your damn self-love, your healing process, and really do every damn thing that you've been restricted restricted from doing or with any, everything that felt restrictive from you actually fucking experiencing due to your loyalty to somebody else. Some of y'all need to learn as we move forward not to become such a damn slave to your loyalty because some of y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe some of y'all could be dealing with another mutable sign or have those placements in your chart, specifically Pisces in your chart, Sag. But some of y'all really need to acknowledge the cycle around being self-sacrificial. Okay? Yeah, you guys got meet me at the altar, celebration, vows, wedding. Someone could actually be, I'm sorry I ruined the secret, but I literally see if you got a, uh, if your wedding anniversary was literally in, Ju the, in the month of July, especially the third week of July, I'm sorry, I gotta tell y'all, the third week of July, what you don't know is that someone could literally be, um, wanting to renew their wedding vows here, okay? Someone also could be, um, actually like asking someone to marry them, especially if you are, it's something about cancer and Leo, or maybe someone's on the cusp of cancer and Leo. Someone could be a Leo, but they're on the cusp, okay? Yeah, you guys you guys got, you have known each other before. Familiarity, magnetic, past life. Didn't I fucking tell y'all y'all starting to realize who somebody is to you? Someone's had some type of like sudden epiphany. And it actually like awakened a lot of guilt because of how things weren't expressed in the past. I feel like someone chose to play it safe or like um, create create this big ass motherfucking wall out of protection and just assume I, I get this energy where i hurt you i hurt you before you could hurt me you get what i'm saying and someone's really regretting that now because it's like they feel as if they're helpless or they can't say anything or they don't have any access to the person for sad some y'all how somebody feel about you run forest run bitch inconsistent unavailable red flag some of y'all I heard fuck what they said, Sag. What are they doing? Some of y'all, someone's words and their actions don't motherfucking align and you getting ready to hold their ass accountable in the worst way. Some of y'all is ghosting somebody and not giving them closure, but Sag, if you handle it that way. And honestly, I'm going to tell you something. I don't really agree on the concept of ghosting people because at the end of the day, if you want, if you really love somebody, you really like somebody and you want them to get their shit together, if you just ghost them, how the fuck do they know where they fucked up at? How do they know what to fix? How do you know if something couldn't have been fixed? You get what I'm saying? For some of you all, it's like you, you, you're you reliving something a second time and you're doing something differently. And it's truly bringing different results when it comes to someone being open to someone being um, open and sincere with you. Some of y'all I keep hearing that's not that guy.
That's not that girl. Some of y'all got y'all present person paying for some shit that a past motherfucker did because you've been living your life and 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 and, and, and um living in a space where you feel like you had to protect yourself. Sag, why do you immediately expect for somebody to like you admit like if you meet a motherfucker and you like this motherfucker, you will hold some of y'all will hold back. Not everybody, okay? But some of y'all will hold back. Like, yeah, let me see what type of drama you fucking coming with. Your mama crazy. Baby mama on the motherfucking loose, bitch. Your part-time gay. What the fuck you go? Some of y'all, if you're in that energy and you fucking wait for the worst to happen before you allow the best, before, allow you, before, you, allow, before you allow yourself to experience the best, some of y'all is being called to, like, really step back and, like, analyze that. Like, don't compartmentalize it, but let's let's dissect that shit, because why are you that way? <laughs> and this is no judgment and no shade, because, listen, I'm Aries, okay? Nobody tell you how them Aries be Aries and fuck, Okay? Aries with Pisces up in here. Shit's get shit get wicked, 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 wicked real. You hear me? Let me see. Let's get it. I'm still gonna pull from these candy coated because I'm really curious about what's gonna come out for Sagittarius. For some of y'all, I get this energy like Mocha. I wanted to do yeah. Some of y'all is done with dealing with inconsistent motherfuckers. Okay, it's kind of like if your actions ain't aligning with your motherfucking words, you out of here, Jack. I ain't got time to play with you. I ain't your mammy. Play with your mammy. Play with your kids. You guys got they don't they don't like you. Okay, they don't like you, Sag. Family doesn't approve. Friends don't like you. Again, there could be some type of cultural dis, uh, so, some type of cultural difference when it comes to someone in which you're dating. Maybe some of you guys, I'm literally seeing Cuba, Cuba. So maybe some of y'all could be dealing with the Cuban. Maybe some of y'all could also be dealing with someone who has some type of like Native American or some type. Uh, they, there's some type of descendants of. Um, some of y'all could actually be Native American, but some of y'all could be dealing with someone like overseas. This could be someone who's Trinidadian. This could be someone who's Haitian. This could be someone who's Cuban. This could be someone who's Dominican. Someone's parents or someone's family, they choose not to like you because of the fact that you're different, okay? I feel like there is some type of about, I'm hearing forbidden love. Some of y'all is done being in this space where family and friends fucking play a part in, in like causing distractions and issues within your relationship. Some of y'all, you choosing love. You choosing to fucking move away with your partner and block all these fucking people and live happily ever after, bitch. <laughs> yes, okay? Let me see. You guys got music. Did I tell y'all some of y'all are musicians, okay? I'm hearing it's not what you do, it's how you do it. For some of you all also, I keep hearing something about independent label, okay? So maybe some of you guys could be branding or getting your damn LLC or getting some type of paperwork or something solidified or trademark when it comes to a name, a brand, or some type of independent label, okay? Also, I'm hearing if you are getting some type of offer, some of y'all is actually getting some type of contract or receiving a contract, but make sure that you read over this motherfucking contract three times because I do see some type of limitation or restriction within the damn contract. I'm literally seeing something about seven years okay and, and and whoever this is whoever is presenting this seven years they ain't even coming with the motherfucking money that matches that so bitch i gotta fucking start on the aisle you for seven years who does that bitch you're not changing my life fuck your contract music love songs repeated lyrics telepathy okay so for some of you all maybe you could actually be listening you could be listening to a lot of love songs at this time maybe some of y'all i keep hearing you remind me of a girl. Not 90s R&B could be of significance, all right? For some reason, I'm hearing the OJs. Some of y'all also could really enjoy, like, slow and, like, reverb, uh, reverb, reverb music. I'm literally hearing, said we cry, cry, cry. We cry together. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Listen. That boy say, uh, what did he say? Last, wait, last night, me and my woman, we cry together. Said we cry. Together. Okay, some of y'all sad may have somebody want to come pull their damn heart off. Baby, don't. Please don't go. Please 
still go. Somebody say, listen, I know I was fucking, I know I be cheating, I be lying, baby, I ain't shit, but I love you and it don't got no off button, but listen, some of y'all cut the cord on this motherfucker. Some of y'all cord cousins could be of significance, okay? Celebrations, okay? Parties, birthdays, weddings, etc. Again, someone's anniversary is coming up. Maybe some of you guys could be planning someone a surprise party. Or maybe someone could be inviting you to the to someone else's fucking surprise party. Especially if this is like a destination fucking event. All right. Some of y'all, if you're being uh, if you're getting an offer to travel at the last minute, if you got the resources, go Sag because I heard right place, right time, right conversation. Okay. Give me one more for Sagittarius. One more for Sagittarius. One more for Sag. Yes. Didn't I tell you somebody's addicted to you? Some of y'all also could be finding out that someone has some type of gambling addiction, uh, addiction, okay? Someone has some type of fucking weed addiction. Someone does not do something in fucking moderation. Someone also has an addiction to fucking looking at you, watching you, Sag. They have an addiction to mother everything you motherfucking post. They claim that they don't like you. But every motherfucking thing that you post, every goddamn thing that you own, every site that you own, baby, every step you take. Every move you make, every single day, every single place, these bitches watching you. Okay, they be watching you, Sash. Listen, these people want to fucking affect your motherfucking throat chakra. They want to affect the way that you see yourself. These people want to assassinate your brain, and because the shit don't work, they over there, they fucking spells and shit that they motherfucking whipping up don't work on you. It didn't hit their ass like a goddamn crossbow, bitch. Listen, they are addicted. You guys got, I love you, unconditional love stronger strong attraction affection intimacy fell for you someone did not Someone did not intend to like you as much as they do, Sag. I get this energy where someone wants to have you. They want to they want to have access to your energy. They want to be in your energy, but they don't know. They, 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 they're not ready for the responsibility that it takes to be able to keep you. And that's the fucking problem. But this person definitely does love you. But for some of you all, there's a need for you to be expressive, okay? Someone also may be sending you love letters, okay? Roses could be of significance. Rose bath, rose water, all right? Also, I'm hearing, I know roses have to do with like healing. It also have to do with like love and trust as well. I'm hearing something about attraction rituals, okay? Any any type of rituals that you actually could have recently done around the new moon as it pertains to um, attraction, as it pertains to manifestation at, when in love. They want you to know that, hey, bitch, it's working. Uh -huh. It's working, sis. It's working, bro. All right? Self-doubt, self-sabotage, denial, fear, failure. Sag, why you do that? <laughs> now, why you want to go and do that? Uh, uh, what the fuck I just tell y'all? Some of y'all, why do you expect negative ass results? Why do you, some of y'all, what's keeping you from actually starting something or presenting something is, 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 is the is the actual concept around how it's going to be received, if people is going to like it, if it's going to grow. Listen, you will never fucking know if you don't do it. Just do it, Sash. Live your life like Nike, okay? Just do it, all right? Let's get into it. So, let me get an angel message as far as advice for you guys, all right? self-doubt i get this energy with some of y'all can literally feel that someone wants to reach out maybe you're dreaming about this person okay maybe this person have been sending you telemath telepathic messages through song but i get this energy where someone would rather stalk and not talk and sad you're just removing that energy away from your listen i don't got time for it play with your mammy <laughs> big play with your mammy ass energy all right not me compassion okay you guys got compassion, Archangel Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. For some of you all, again, the angels are serving as some type of like, um, I'm going to say intercessors in order to bring two people or a situation or some type of family dynamic together in order for everyone to openly express themselves just to kind of give the information, clear the goddamn air, either decide if we're going to fucking close this thing out, if we're going to receive, if we're going to have closure or if we're going to fucking find compromise, okay? But really communicating in a compassionate way. You don't have to be ugly to cut somebody out your world, all right? And some of y'all, that's somebody's fucking problem with you. They used to you fucking, you didn't respond the way that they, that they, that they peg you or that, that you, that they, you didn't respond the way that they thought you was sag and it's really intimidating because when a person only fucking playing for fucking chaos they don't be expecting for you not to just say nothing <laughs> scorpio okay so some of y'all could be dealing with a scorpio maybe you have scorpio on your fucking chart maybe y'all got a scorpio bitch over there brewing some shit in the goddamn cauldron hopefully she don't burn her fucking house down all right you guys got leadership all right didn't i tell y'all y'all being called to the to call to the forefront when it comes to leadership you guys are being blessed with your god-given position as an intercessor as a teacher as a healer okay some of y'all also could be teaching about um 
the medicinal uses of herbs or the properties of uh, the properties of herbs and holistic living okay or holistic lifestyles you guys got leadership archangel gabriel it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others okay this is a blessing being bestowed on to you by your planet jupiter jupiter fine as hell up in this car you hear me all right, so nines could be of significance, three, six, nine, all right, energy, frequency, vibration, the laws of the motherfucking universe, all right, some of y'all could be using the three, six, nine uh, manifestation technique in order to bring things closer to you, if you have, are you, if you're not, if you're not doing that, look into it, Sag, all right, you guys at the bottom got overcoming difficulties, Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you, and you are surmounting any previous challenges, so if you were going through anything, expect miracles, I feel like God is restoring the belief in your the belief in miracles for some of you all sag right place right time right conversation so i love y'all long time i pray that this message finds you with love understanding clarity wisdom that i was able to confirm some things for y'all and until i see y'all next until until next time i love y'all and i'll see you guys later bye my baby